on the road to Three Rivers State Park. Going gourmet in the RV. And doubling down with swingers. You're so money and you don't even know it. Let's do this. Woo! The Three Rivers uh, State Park is uh, a really nice state park. It's small, uh, not a lot of campground uh, spots, but they do have both uh, uh, RV spots and tent camping. The park itself, very clean. Um, there is a bathhouse here and a, a check-in place for reservations. Um, and then some nice trails along the uh, water right here. Uh, and then up in the uh, trees uh, in the forest as well. There are a ton of these signs for alligators. I've never seen an alligator out uh, when I've been hiking. But who knows, maybe I'll find one this time. Uh, they have 30 amp and 50 amp hookups, so that's easy uh, for those who have uh, different size vehicles. Uh, you can get in and out, very easy to park, the water pressure is really good. So this is a pretty good spot. So this place is in Sneeds, which is about 45 minutes to an hour outside of Tallahassee, Tallahassee, Eastern time zone. This actually in the central time zone. So when I got here on Friday, I was here early. But no problem, they allowed me to come on in, set up my camp, uh, and then I just had to go over and uh, register a little bit later. So it was a great opportunity to get in here early and enjoy myself. So if you're looking for a great place to come, water, camping, hiking, everything, come to Three Rivers State Park. So I'm getting ready to bust out some dinner. I love to cook uh, when I'm on the road and I like to chef it up. So tonight we're gonna have a bone-in chicken breast, uh, Mexican style. I've got some salsa, some cilantro uh, that's been working. You can see uh, on this marinating prior to me coming here. Uh, I'm gonna cook it on the grill though. Uh, to get that nice smoky flavor. Uh, and then also I've got some uh, beans, lovely black beans, and I'm gonna juice those up a little bit uh, with some spices as well. So hopefully it'll be a good meal. Okay, even though I'm cooking this on the grill, tonight I'm gonna use this, a, uh, cast iron skillet. I want it really hot, uh, then I'm gonna add some oil, and then I'm gonna sear the chicken uh, and get a really nice uh, flavor profile on it. Okay, so the coals are going really good. We're gonna get the pan on there uh, and heat that sucker up, get it nice and hot. Growing up, I loved to cook, and one of the things my mother taught me was the art of doctoring things up. So what I'm going to do here is doctor up these black beans. Nice, normally probably pretty good, but I'm going to do some stuff to make them a little spicier. I've got some jalapenos right here, and I'm going to chop those up and put those in. We have some of the original salsa that I used to marinate the chicken in. It's Newman's own, uh, and it's hot and chunky. We've got an onion, uh, some... Uh, chili powder, some cayenne pepper, and some garlic pepper. All of that uh, is going to go into the beans and spice them up a little extra. So we're going to start with the onion. Just get a nice little rough chop on that. 
uh, not the sharpest knife I have, uh, but we're going to leave some onion out that we can put on top as well. There you go. Uh, and then we've got the jalapenos, uh, which always adds a little extra flavor. And uh, we'll rough chop those too. Um, and get those in. All, everything into the bowl before they go into the pan. Okay, so where the pan is really hot, we're going to take the chicken breast and put it right in there. And you can hear it. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's going to be good. The pan for the beans, or the pot, is on. It's now time to throw in the things that I'm going to put in it. I'm going to start with a little bit of the salsa. Just a little bit in. I'm going to start that off. You hear that? Yeah. You know it's good. Uh, from there, we're going to take our concoction, which uh, are the jalapenos and the onions. Get all of those in there uh, because uh, that's going to add to some of the heat. I like heat, so that's okay. Um, and we're going to let that go for a little bit before we add the beans. All right, time now to add the beans. As you can see, the concoction uh, is doing well. The salsa, the jalapenos, and the onions. We're now just going to take the beans and pour them in all juice and everything because there's some good stuff there, the liquid. Um, we'll let that go for a little bit, uh, and then we'll add some spices. Okay, it's time to go check out on the chicken. I can hear it from inside. It's uh, getting really hot and sizzling. I, I think it's time to flip it over. Okay, you can hear it. Yeah, it sounds really good. Let's, let's flip this open, and let's flip the chicken. Turn it down. Get a nice sear on it. Uh, and I close the lid of the cooker. I want to get that smoke onto the chicken. All right, back to the beans. I'm going to take the top off here. They're sizzling up right now. That's good. We're going to add a little garlic pepper. That goes in there. We got a little uh, chili powder. We'll throw just a little bit in there. And then we'll finish it off with some cayenne pepper. Get that in there. We'll stir it up a little bit. And then uh, I'm going to put the top back on, turn the heat down, and let these really ruminate. All right, so you can hear the chicken, it's still sizzling. We'll let that cool down just a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to plate it up. Looks great. So the beans are basically done. We're going to add one more final touch to make them a little extra special. The secret touch on these beans tonight, we're going to put one slice of Munster cheese in there. Put it on there and then just let it melt in there. And there's the completed dinner. You've got the beans with a little sour cream on top and onions. The chicken looking perfect. I uh, threw on some tortillas on the uh, grill as it was cooling down to get a little char on it. Have a little salsa, a little salad that is. And of course, cerveza. It's uh, a perfect way to finish off a long day. So that's how you chef it up in an RV. Uh, I like to cook. Don't think you have to uh, dumb it down because you're on the road. And tonight's dinner is going to be fantastic. I, I got to turn this off. I got to eat. <laughs> Why I love the movie Swingers. You know, I lived in LA for a long time and uh, everybody who's lived in LA, worked in the business, has a Swingers uh, kind of a night moment. 
And the thing I really like about the movie is that it's honest. It's still honest. Up here in the Jedi Lounge, I just wanted to watch something fun. And once again, Swingers delivers. Vince Vaughn, uh, John Favreau, both of them were just really at their peak in it. I know they were young, but uh, this was uh, a film that hit home, still does when I look at it, and uh, inspires me to do the things that I like to do when it comes to filmmaking. So, as it wraps up, remember, your money, baby, your money. So that's going to do it for this uh, edition of the vlog. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can also find me online at rvjedi.com and on the Instagram and the Twitter at rvjedi. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're enjoying the content and go out there and RV.